Hi everybody, Ryan Balaji with Golf News Net. Great to have you here today for another review. We are in my yard to start the review for something that's become extremely popular since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic and has just continued to be popular throughout the course of it. And even as we move on to whatever golf looks like in 2022, push carts and more specifically, automated and battery powered push and follow carts have become extremely popular among golfers. And so we are here today to review one from overseas from our friends at Stewart Golf, the Q Series Follow. Say hello to the Q Series Follow. I've been trying this unit out for more than six months now and I've used it in a variety of different weather conditions, whether that's the winter months, the spring months, and now even in the summer months here in the humid DC metropolitan area. I've tried these in all kinds of conditions and I've tried it on probably the best proving ground for any type of unit, whether that's a manual push cart, automated battery, whatever it is, Argyle Country Club. Argyle is a very hilly golf course and there is a lot of different undulation. Very steep and changes quickly. So for a unit like this or any other unit, it needs to be able to handle the hills. Stewart Golf continues to make iterative progress every single time out on each of these. And when they visited here in the fall of 2021, they came and told me about the Q-Series follow and then let me this to try out they kind of walked me through the process of all the different things that they worked on, all the different things that maybe they, they saw room for improvement. And during the co course of the COVID pandemic and early lockdown, they made some changes to not only the unit, but also to the hardware and firmware of it. So the battery performed even better than it already did. Two series follows probably about 30 pounds. And that in comparison to like a golf travel bag, when I go through an airport, my travel bag plus my golf bag is about 38 pounds. This is probably in that 30 pound range. So picking up the unit, there's no small feet, but you can easily pick it up. It also folds down really conveniently into a small size, which we'll show you about in a few minutes. This is the Q-Series Follow, fully unraveled. You can see at the top it has handlebars, has a very nice inset logo there. That's where you can hold your scorecard or any other pieces of paper, maybe your pin sheet if you need that, pencil holder as well. This is the space for accessories. Hook here, you can hold golf balls here. Umbrella holder can go here. You can probably attach your golf glove there if you wanted to get the tab through it. And then as we go down through the unit, you come down here to where you have the bag strap, the top portion of the bag strap. It's a really nice silicone style to it not a bungee style. And this is something that Stuart Golf thought about a whole lot when making these units and trying to create something that could stretch and it stretches plenty while handling any kind of golf bag and not being something that dry rots, which often happens on these types of units with something that is bungee style. So it's really easy to go ahead and connect your bag. You come over to here, you use one of the straps, plop it in there. And then you can pull it tight. And in most cases, especially if you use a stand bag when you play, you're gonna put on that one. You've got nice little pads here, so it doesn't scuff up the bag in. Similar style, not quite silicone, but similar style. Now you come down to here. This is the battery unit. And this is the part of it that really makes the weight of this. Without the battery, it's significantly lighter, but the battery obviously is what makes this thing go, and that's really important. So you need to be able to charge the battery, take it in and out, and be able to replace it as needed. With this unit, taking the battery in and out is pretty easy. There's a button in the back here that's connected to the battery unit itself. You press that in, you hear the click, you pull it out. There's the battery connector that connects to this part of the battery right here. And then this is what secures it into place. So when you charge it, you connect it to a charger that goes into the wall when the light is green, you know it's charged and ready to roll or you just have to use it anyway. You go ahead and put this thing back in, just like this, drop that down there, let it go. Clicks in, you're ready to rock. Operation of the unit turning on and off is pretty simple. Use this button here, this is the on and off switch. That connects, obviously the whole thing together, turns the power on the unit from the battery to the whole thing. That's also got a nice cover on it, so there's no way that water gets in there, damages it, makes it hard to operate. Over here, you have the Bluetooth light, which we'll get to in a minute with the remote, which you might imagine that's how it's connected. So 
the Bluetooth light will be on and let you know that you're able to pair the unit to either your phone, because you're going to need to do that for using the mobile app that comes with it, which will tell you battery life and other information about your Q-Series follow in real time. And it'll also allow you to pair it to the remote unit. This is a multi-material construction. There are a couple of different color options here. You've got black and kind of carbon. This is the carbon style. The interesting thing about this, according to the folks at Stewart Golf, is that no unit has the same exact pattern. They're all done uniquely. So your unit is truly yours, which is kind of cool. A little diff bit different of a touch. You've got covers on the wheels, obviously to allow them to keep moving without getting too wet. You've got two bigger wheels in the back here. Nice light wheels, easy to move, keeps it going. Then down here, you've got a handle, which we're going to show you a little bit later how to use when you make this thing into the most compact size it can be, and then unfurl it. And then you've got another tab here, which you're going to use as well to kind of unfurl the device. And then you've got two smaller wheels in the front. And then you've got this unit here, which is very familiar to people who use push carts. This is what connects to the bottom of your golf bag. Really, you just set your bag there, the base of it, and you flip this over around the circumference of the bag. That gets the bottom of it. This portion gets the top of it. There's a really interesting feature on the Q-Series follow, these back wheels. So it's really a four-wheel cart, right? But these are actually wheels too. And what they do is they stabilize the cart when you're going up a hill. And maybe the weight of the bag is too much and it forces the unit back. And what it will do is we'll ride on these and the two big wheels while those wheels are up in the air and it'll continue to push it forward using the motor with the battery. And that way you don't have to worry about it falling down even as you're going through big undulation changes. Now, this is the bad boy that does all the magic. This is the remote control for the unit. Now I have a cover on this. Stuart Golf provided the, the cover for the unit uh, remote control. You can use it, you don't have to use it. That's up to you. There's a storage for the remote right back here. Go ahead and slip that bad boy in. So when you're using it, you obviously want to keep it in your pocket or not too far from you, but when you're not using the unit or you have it stored away, you can easily have it all together and don't worry about losing it. The Q-Series Follow comes in three modes. One is manual, where obviously you're not going to use this remote control, but there are two others. One is follow and one is controlling it with the remote control. And so when you're controlling with the remote control, you're going to use these buttons more frequently, obviously. These arrow buttons control forward, back, direction, left and right. You have a stop button. So if you need to stop the unit right away, hit stop. And so long as you're within that 50 meter range, it's going to stop. Then, then you've got the glide stop, which means you can just bring it to a quick halt but not super quick, not like an emergency stop, but just kind of a little bit slower. And then you've got the follow mode here, which is where you put this remote control on the back of your trousers or pants or shorts or whatever term you want to use, and you press this button. And so long as this has an, the unit has an unobstructed view of this, it will follow you by following the remote using infrared and, the, and then Bluetooth right here, turn on that on and off, and that way you can connect the remote to it. Now this is the Stuart Golf Q-Series follow when it's fully functional, ready to roll on the golf course. However, most people are not gonna store it this way. They want it to be more compact so it fits in their car or storage area of their country club, their basement, wherever you're keeping this. And this is pretty easy to do. So it's a multi-step process, but it takes just a few seconds. So first, we're gonna hit the back button here. We're gonna bring this guy down. We're gonna close this guy up here. Press this button. Once it gets to ground here, press that button in, pull that back. We're gonna bring this up. Then we're gonna press this button in here, pull the wheels down. Now everything is clicked into place, and now we can take this wherever we need it. Off we go. Now we're gonna show you the reverse. Now we've got the unit, we've pulled it out of our storage area, we've got it in the parking lot of our country club or on some part of our golf course, whatever we're trying to do to unfurl this wherever we play golf. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the reverse of what we just did. 
So, take this unit, we're gonna press this button in, right away flip out the wheel. We're gonna create a base for it. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip this part out, and we're gonna press this button in, that's gonna flip it up, and then we're gonna press this button in the back, bring that all the way up, we are ready to use. The Stewart Golf Q-Series Volo comes in at about $2,700, which is a little bit on the higher end for this type of product, but not necessarily without reason. First of all, the products are made over in the UK in their factory by hand. There's an artisan kind of factor to that that's perhaps priced into the equation. Because it's all done by hand and done by a small staff, they have been able to continuously make upgrades and changes throughout the course of the pandemic upgrading the, the ability of the battery to work, making some changes to the unit. So they've gone from fifth generation already into the seventh generation. They are constantly iterating. The product runs well. It runs on its battery for 36 holes, even on my golf course, which is extremely hilly. And ask anyone who comes as a guest and they'll tell you three holes in that it's quite a hike. And this unit has held up very well against it. It doesn't move especially fast on the hills of Argyle Country Club, but again, there aren't many places like that. So if you play the bulk of your golf on a flatter golf course, or even one with just little hills and bumps, and not necessarily extreme elevation changes, I am fully confident that the Q-Series Follow is going to work for you very well. It's going to hold to the 36-hole charge on the battery. It's going to go at the proper speed that you expect as a walking golfer for it to follow you or to pace you. If you play golf on a mountain style golf course, or if you play on something that's extremely hilly, it's still going to work well for you. It's just not going to go as fast. While the Q-Series Follow may not go as fast on very hilly terrain, particularly uphill, it is extremely stable. And the back wheels on the unit do a great job of keeping the unit from ever falling to the ground, ever losing balance, or ever making you as the user feel like you have to run in and try to save it. You are fully in control with the remote control, whether that's using it directly or whether that's following you. With those two options, as well as the manual option, there is no way you cannot operate this comfortably on any course in any situation and feel like you're in control of your Q-Series follow as well as the stuff that's on it. There's enough accessories to make it really easy to use, whether you use an umbrella when you play, whether you like to carry a drink when you play, whether you need a cooler when you play, whether you use a stand bag, whether you use a cart bag, whatever you use, it can work with the way that you play golf now. You don't have to change the way that you play to use the Q-Series Follow, and that makes it a great unit. Yes, it's not perfect. There's no perfect unit. What you get for the price is an extremely user-friendly unit that is very stable, works well, has great tech support, an easy to use app, and easy to use features that if you are a walking golfer and are making that investment in your game, you will not walk away disappointed from the Q-Series follow. I'm Ryan Balaji saying thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.